Real time. <laughs> Last week, they knew all week they weren't coming to answer any requests. And then thought I would have sympathy with somebody got in the family. I told them off. Well, I told them off. I'm not letting you have to record in between the same day. It was like three hours before you. Oh, I just said that I'm not going to. He wants to come back, but I don't want to. I can't think of anything about you. I think he's got too much going on. I asked him, and he said, he's not even that. He's not even that thing. Or his answer was, I did it. So, and then they never followed him. Like, you ready? I'm going to say, Mike. I'm going to say, Mike. Been working four in the morning because the preps the softball baseball fields in Stanford. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know Carver. Oh! I'm glad you made that call without my help. <laughs> I asked you who you said. Wait a minute, you're sitting on this game. I understand it. You know, if you're not up to it.
close me. I was waiting for you, Blue. I, I thought it was going to take faster. No mercy, no uh, until I right? Or not There's no time in that. Everything else is hand. Okay. But there's still mercy. No. I don't know why I'm dizzy. Huh? You want some water? I water. I don't think that's it. It's been getting progressively harder to stay functional.
up your mind.
Seven and two. Monday night, they, they allow, if you're behind, then you can catch up and go up by seven. But Monday, in San Jose, season's over, not until June 10th. Tentative signing. Yeah. That means they have to go to Cupertino. On Monday. <laughs> All right, right up. You think we can chair? You can go to the car. Good. Take a nap like me earlier. Want me to get your chair? What? It's not in the car because I didn't anticipate sitting down.
down that other arm part of that and stand in there, they'll probably get a call them out. This one we crossed when one more this game's Matt. over. Can you go get the shirts and Thank trophy? And yep. I put them up there because I, I figured the home team was more favored to win, and the home team's over there. Good hit, Danny. Nice hit. I know I've been getting tired and tired. And no equilibrium. And, from the nerves, so I don't know. I, I don't want to go in because it's probably something serious, and I don't want to know. I'd rather die and not know. Let's see that. Huh? Don't see that. I already did. She was out of town. She's leaving tonight, technically. Uh, no. Hey. No, 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 no. You sure? Yes. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'll talk to you later. Last time they were here, she didn't make it. She left reins in somebody's hands that was yelling at me. Well, how could you score Keith and coach his team? And, and, you know, and then it was TN had the score off by one, and I corrected it. It was a point from my team. Hey, you can't do that. You know, I was just arguing everything, and I just said, listen, do you want me to be truthful, or do you want me to do what you're asking me to do and cheat? Keep yelling at me, and I'm going to start cheating, and this game will be over real quick. And shut the hell up. And then he just shut up. They were pissed because they had one of the guys that's on their uh, team that's legal now. He, he played one game, 
and he coached the rest of the season, so he yeah. never had yeah. enough yeah. games yeah. that tried to put him in. So they had to play short, and they said, oh, you're just doing this because you want to win. I'm just doing this because it's a win. If it helps me win, that's great, but I'm not doing it to help me win. I've been here every week. That doesn't matter. You have to play. three times. First game, I was standing up there and I heard the second baseman going, Hey, hey, I thought she was talking to her outfield. And so I heard this, Hey, can you get off the field? And I turned around and she's like, like three feet away from me. And she was going like this, I just need to go over there. And I said, Ma'am, I'm going to carry you back to the other side if you don't go back. I'm just going over there. I don't care. You're walking across a live game. Please go back. What's frustrating is a lot of people that do it out I'm there in the fine. field or like that, yeah. they're out here to walk and then they, they want to take a shortcut.
thought you were going to get hit. During the third inning. No, I saw that one coming. <laughs> Put the other blue umpire back in. Fortunately, Tian, I didn't. I sent a text, and since Chris and Michael at the time I sent the text were the only people that responded, they didn't get the text. Here goes another two pound bo box of chocolates. You mean Blaine Lelaine? Yes. It's his, it's his grandpa. Seven. Lane Simmons? Yes. All right, everybody. <laughs> How four? How four? Okay. I was taking away all the attention up at the end. You a natural Nostradamus, Blaine. We'll start calling you Blaine, Blaine, Blaine Adonis. Last week, I had asked Anna if she could sell it, and she had something to do. You guys are out every week. Well, uh, the only reason we're out every week is because her mom's getting used to it. Oh. No, I'm just saying it's just you're always on the go, but this is a good time to do it. Yeah. And it's still in the, the, the puppy love stage of newlywed. And believe you, the next time she eats expired yogurt, it's your fault. <laughs> hey, it's Phil, guys! That's the thing. It doesn't matter. If she does or if she doesn't, it's my fault she's part of it. I'm not cleaning up the fridge. Okay, I had the house cleaners on Wednesday clean out the refrigerator. Because I heard from a girl that I take uh, to the airport all, uh -huh. like twice a month. She said, oh, I'm on the dating sites too, and I got this one guy, and we really, really got... She got COVID, so they were watching movies, you know, with the phone next to each of them, and, yeah. you know, at the same house. And, and then she told me she went over to his house, and 
He was growing mold in his bathroom. His house was all over the charts on cleanliness. And she finally just, you know, said he was taking drugs for depression, which it was okay because she was he was under control, but it took away his initiative to, to clean up. Yeah. And so she finally had to break it off because she, she knew she wouldn't be able to continue with him. Makes sense. And I said that, I said, it's better you did this now and then to getting into a big fight over something. So it, it inspired me to have the house cleaners I have come once a month. Hey, could you clean the kit? The, the, kit? the refrigerator looks brown. Well, they do the kitchen anyway, but the refrigerator was starting to get pretty bad, and it looked like it looked like a showroom floor refrigerator now. And they even throw away all the expired jellies and stuff because I usually buy jelly because. If I have a low sugar rate uh, reading in the evening, I really don't have anything in the house that has sugar in it. And they said, well, just buy jelly. And only, you know, because, you know, if it's got enough sugar that it should it should take long for you to get out of the slump. And then I realized they had like 10 jars of jelly. Because <laughs> I don't eat peanut butter anymore because it didn't, if I, when I eat peanut butter, it makes me want to eat bread. Uh, you can't eat it like just plain? Huh? You can't eat peanut butter plain? I can, but it's boring. I always, I, in, the, in, the, in the night, I love making peanut butter and jelly toes. Because there's been times I've had it low to where I was almost passing out and I had to drive over to the 7-Eleven about 500 feet from my house and then I buy like 12 candy bars and about the sixth one I'm starting to get sick because, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm falling asleep. She's not here. What's his name? He just hit. Travis. Yeah. trying to look at the photograph she's done. Is she? You're not going to San Diego? LA. LA? Yeah. Yeah, she sent me some documentation that she's using to apparently claim some of her father's affairs in Africa. And I think I showed them to you and I had somebody look at them after we were out here um, last Wednesday. Yeah. Or when we were out here and she claimed that the documents were fake. They were doctored. Really? And then she stopped talking to me when I asked her about it. That's a shame. Huh? That's a shame. Yep. See? So according to her, last fr by last Friday, I had told her I was going to leave the earth and it was her fault. If she believed me, she should be crying all week and know that it was her fault. And I'm dead. So, and it's the only way I can think of getting back at her for fucking with me. Makes sense. Top five? Top five. Top five! <laughs> it was top. Yeah, I thought it was bo the bottom of four plus one half inning. <laughs> oh, 
least my first pickup is until 2 o'clock tomorrow. In the morning or in the evening? E evening. I've been up since 2.30 this morning. That one, that one was a 3.45 pickup in Morgan Hill. No. <laughs> But I can feel the germs just crawling through my throat. everything pink. After I sneezed, everything went pink. I'm gay again. Yay. What are you doing after this game? It's not teasing. The best thing to do is ignore me. Bye. 
How dare you even mention that stupid rule? No, no flip flop, bro. 16. 16? 7. 16, Blue, throw him out. He's already out. I can't throw him out again. I'm looking forward to our plays. Funny they, my pastor's witness to this woman she finally started coming to church so, last Sunday was her last week and we go to lunch and my pastor went, he wasn't feeling well so he laid down so his wife took everybody out and she says in the middle of the restaurant we need to find a wife for this guy and I'm like thanks a lot and the new girl that works for a matchmaking company where you, know, you pay, she said you pay an average seven to eleven thousand dollars to have them find you a mate. Really? And then this morning when I was, you know, in my, you know, my pastor's right time, isn't she a great woman? Na, 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 na. My pastor says this morning, he goes, well, you wonder if she works for a, the, one of the biggest matchmaking companies in the in in the Bay Area. If she hasn't found somebody for herself, what, you know, what uh, uh, cho what what chance do you have? Yeah. She didn't seem to be interested in talking to me, and I was sitting right across from her at the restaurant center. Yeah. But, they, but they've been hitting me with, you're going to like her, you're going to like her, she's a great person, you, but you told me she's not looking, and when I talk to her, it sounds like she's looking. Yeah. I said, stop bringing in stray sheep for me. Just bring them in so they serve God. I don't care about me. Beyond those documents that you were looking at last week, I didn't even notice that the name was different on the top on the tour. Really? And the death certificate was from the city of Boston. Said nice her dad's, he died in 2015. So they've been sitting on this lump of gold. The death certificate says that he was a traitor. And the person that was looking at it saying, all traitors are registered. And she could not find his name anymore. And then she did, she magnified and blasted it and said, then showed me to, oh! that if you go and look at the typed word that obviously looked like it wasn't, like somebody just did a typewriter, yeah. you could see the actual text box per perforation in the areas if you look close enough to see that they, they pretty much just like broke the document and, and, the, and then, then added it, you inserted a text box and you could just see that the ink didn't match the thing. So. They tried, but it wasn't a great try. Oh, okay.
that? They were only down by five. Now they're down by seven. One touchdown and two point conversion. I'm gonna throw, throw a flip flop at you, Chuck. You have to talk to him. Two players. James and Lucky. How many? Uh, we still have you, ten. Uh, that would be ten. That would be ten players. If they still have ten, they're fine. Yeah, we got got three, at least three girls. And we, yeah, we got. Okay. Four. Yeah, we got. Four. So we just skip those two. James. What are the names? James and Lucky. James okay. and Lucky. Yeah. James just got lucky. He's coming up sooner. They're bringing in some ringers. Hopefully, you don't mind. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Oh, he had. He started with twelve. He's dropping two. So there's no penalty. There's no penalty. Yeah. Jumping if he man. drops under 10, he would have the penalty. He would get the out or whatever? Yeah, you would get automatic out. Hey! I don't think Lucky's his real name. Oh. I think it's his dog's name. I thought he was sitting out. Oh, that, he turned over there. Okay, that's right. I just go ask him what, who was lucky batting because you yeah. you may not have gotten the lineup with his name. Yeah. I'm glad it wasn't saying, "Oh, we want to add somebody." Are they eligible? I don't know.
If that other umpire was out there, you would have called him out. Why didn't get your butt out there? My butt is out there. The rest of me is here. The rest of you is up here? Yeah. Oh. oh. I would have been very surprised if she caught it. Huh? I would have been very surprised if she just caught it. Because I went her direction. It, well, it was just a late reaction. Yeah. If she had put her glove up immediately, she would have definitely caught it. I don't think she thought it was close enough until yeah. it got right at her. So in Mandarin, to say a woman's public part in Mandarin, it's, it's shall mei mei. What is it? Shall mei mei. It's the woman's frontal private. I picked up a couple last night, and my baby was called mei mei, and I was biting my tongue because I wanted to go shall mei mei, because I didn't say mate. The girls to giggle when I go to the massage party. How do you know that word? <laughs> one of one of the girls just said, "Want me to touch your shop too, which is the man's part of your Is that how you say it? Stupid, stupid temp agency. They ended my contract last Friday. Supposed to end this Friday. Oh. 
So the agency goes, can you please let us know? That, uh, of course, Wednesday they tell me they've ended your contract on the 9th. Okay. Thursday I get two texts, just a reminder, they've ended your contract on the 9th. Then on the 9th they said, well, when you leave the office, can you please let us know you've ended your shift so then we could put it in the books as your last day. And I said, I go, you guys are stupid. I haven't worked for them since Monday of this week because they had nothing left to give me. So I left Monday. Oh, okay, we'll put down Monday. It's just a stupid agency. Then they call me back and say, the manager wants to know if you want to come back. The manager at Stanford? No, the manager is here. Oh, so they, they, you, they want to know if I want to come back to Stanford to their group. Why didn't they, why did they end it? No, I'm, you know, he was just, he was trying to tell me, he was asking for his manager at the agency if I wanted to come back to Stanford. So he goes, we have openings at Stanford. By the way, what do you want to make? And I said, you, you tell me a job and I'll tell you what my minimum is. I'm not going to do this again. Because they asked me before they got me this job, what's your minimum? I told them 25 and they gave me 20 for this job. And then even with the raise, I said, I want 25. They gave me 24, 17. I really don't want to work with the agency anymore. They're a bunch of idiots. And it was like the first week I was there, it was like I got 10 texts. How are things going? Da, 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 da. So, so I didn't answer them because it's just like, I'll let you know when there's a problem. But I just felt like they were, that was a flip-flop play. And it was like, you're treating me like I'm an 18-year-old, never worked before, you know, texting me 10 times a week. How are things going? Tell us how things are going. Tell us how things are going. <laughs> and then about three weeks in, they said, how are things go going? I said, I don't know. I, re I finished the assignment. What? And then didn't respond back. They kept calling me and calling me. They wanted to, you know, because if I don't work, they don't make money. And one of the projects they wanted me to work on that I was extended for, I didn't get around to it until three weeks ago, and then when it, it, it was scanning, you know, four by two and a half foot maps. So we had a, they wanted to do it externally. So the guys finally came and got it when I started two weeks of work there, and they said, "Oh, that took us three to four months to finish this." They just told me, "I said, do you want me to sit around two of my guns for three to four months?" You know, well, you want, I said, "I'm not going to go back in until you have some work for me," because I said. I'm wasting Stanford's money coming in. That's how it works. Huh? That's how I That's how I felt when I was working at Stanford. Because it was just. But the stuff they made us do was just. Alright. We all stand secretly with our desks. Well, and they. they, they when I had a month left, they asked if they could extend, you know, they wanted to extend me because they wanted to work on this other project, that they're still in the infant stages. Uh, IT hasn't even built the, the software for me to add all the information they wanted, they wanted, they extended for me. It my last day into the office, I heard her talking to IT, and it sounded like she was having the exact same meeting I had two months before that, where they hadn't even built the, pro built the, software for me to put in all the information when we put in. And it didn't look like they were anywhere near. IT doesn't know what they want yeah. them to do. And I told the IT exactly what they do. I said they want an interactive map to put on a big screen for one of their conference rooms. That you can you can click on flags or pins that they put on the map and it'll tell you who came to visit the facility. Yeah. But then, then she added, oh, I want software where I can personalize it. Put it, just put it in the box. Can you get the box of shirts? Who won? Sword? Yeah, Sword won. Have a good evening. We'll see you next season, right? You give you a flip flop. Next week. Next week. Huh? Am I taking this to you?
eventually, but I, I got to stay to give them. Well, I still want 